Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. By the way, how is live salary calculated in the UAE? That is a question that was coming from one of the subscribers. How is live salary calculated in the UAE? Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. If it's your first time coming to this channel, consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing to this channel. It's the only way we are going to grow. It's the only way we are going to get to a road to 2,000 subscribers. It is by your support. Support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to press that notification bell. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. How is the live salary calculated in the UAE under the new labor law? Remember, your, the live salary is calculated based on what we call your basic salary. Let's say, for example, your basic salary is 1,000 dirhams. Depending on even how long you've stayed with that company. If, for example, you've stayed with that company for less than six months or for six months, then that means the salary, your basic salary will be calculated with that given gross period that you've been in the company. For someone who has been in a company for more than two years or for more than one year, his basic salary will be or his live salary will be calculated differently. But still we get to look at before we look at what you call the calculation of the basic salary or, or your live salary in any way or the other, we need to understand what is that article in the new labor law that talks about calculation of the live salary. Remember, we have two articles, we have 75 and 78 articles in the UAE labor law. But remember. What does Article 75 or the labor law in the UAE talk about the leave salary? Let's, let me try to read through what I summarized out of that article. The article says, according to Article 75 of the UAE labor law, employees should calculate the leave salary based on the period that the employee has been working for the company. The longer the period, the higher the days of the, the leave salary calculated. The shorter the period, that means the shorter the days, your leave salary will be calculated. And, but please you should note that the leave salary is calculated on the basis of basic salary. Although in practice, some companies may give you full salary, depending on still how long you've stayed in that company, which I talked about. The longer the period, it also contributes a lot to how much you'll get when it comes to your leave salary but remember it also depends on how long you've worked for that company which is very important if well and good you have a good contractual agreement within your with your company or with a given contract you have to sign with the company because we all have different contracts we get to sign your employer may decide to give you may, may decide to give you full amount of salary which is even plus over time depending on how your performance is at your work. So that may be partially very good, a gift that will be an added opportunity for you. But remember, let us look at this person who has been in a company for six months or one year. This person, his leave salary is going to be calculated according to his basic salary, because that will be the amount of period of time he has stayed in this company or is living in this company altogether. So what does it mean? Although it is mandatory for every company that hires an employee to give him a leave, say a leave salary, to some instances, depending on the contract, you may not. There are some people that come as freelancers. Freelancer visa is on his own. So he's not going to expect a leave salary from anywhere because he's on his own. He's a sponsor of his own visa. That is where the difference comes from. But if you are working under what we call a work visa, you are working for someone being sponsored by a company, then it's going to be very, very, very different because you will expect to be given a leave salary. But still, it will also depend what contractual agreement and contract you have with the contract you have with your uh, uh, company. That's why it's normally it's very important for you to read and analyze every clause that is being given in the contract before you, you put your signature or because before you put your thumbs. Because once you put your signature and put your thumb, that means you have accepted all the terms. But if then the terms does not, does not allow you to have leave salary or be paid leave salary, what are you going to say? There's no way you're going to get it off. Because already, you've not got right what the contract says. 
So remember, when we're talking about the leave salary, first of all, if the employer has been working for more than six months, but less than a year for that company, is entitled to receive two days of his leave salary per every month. That means if you've been working for that company for less than for six years and less than one year, every month they will they will calculate as your leave, they will calculate two days as part of your leave salary. And if you've been working for that company that exceeds in one year, then the company shall calculate 30 days of your, 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 your leave salary, which is part of your basic salary. And remember something that you need to know that all different people get different basic salaries. Basic salary, at the end of it all, so the bigger the basic salary, that means you also have a bigger leave salary in case you are to get the, the leave salary in any way or the other. So what are we trying to 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 fig, what are we trying to to give out? What am I trying to let you know? That the the longer the period you've served in that company, the longer the period, the longer the amount or the uh, the, the given amount of money or given uh, amount of money you get for your leave salary. But also remember something that you need not forget is the contractual agreement in the contract you have with your employee. Most of these things look a little bit very small. But they are part of their rights and we should know them. Because in case you are to lodge a complaint, for example, I talked about the village, a, a video, how you can launch a complaint against your employer. You should know some of these things. Why sometimes we get skipped up and we get lured out? And because we do not know the core of some of these things. We only will know my salary, my employer is supposed to give me this, they're supposed to give me this. But there are also some clauses in the labor law. Clauses in this company, this Gulf countries, they also have clauses or they have articles in the labor. They have drafted labor laws that govern the employees to enable or to, to, to ensure there's, there's, there's a good connection relationship between the employer and the employee. And in case there's a disagreement anywhere, the government can also come in. When that responsible department comes in, then it can solve the situation amicably. So hope I've tried to share up something for you for the person who asked for that question. So it would also depend on which company actually we're working for. As we know, we, we all know there are good companies and bad companies. So depending on the company and depending on the contract you sign, then and how long you've been in that company, then probably it will determine on how much you get. Hope I've tried to answer for you, try to answer this question rightly. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thanks so much for tuning into this channel. It's makes from the next creation TV. See you again in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, share, comment, share to a friend, tell him about or tell him or her about this, this channel. 